since they debuted, netizens have accused TWICE of copying Girls' Generation, with everything from having nine members to inheriting the title of the nation's girl group, and with TWICE having just recently announced their comeback. These trolls on web portal Nata back at it again, claiming TWICE's new album, Summer Nights, is another copy of Girls' Generation, and even offered several other examples of plagiarism. However, it's clear that the instances brought up by these netizens were cherry-picked to make it look like TWICE was trying to replicate Girls' Generation's old concepts. While there's no doubt that Girls' Generation has helped pave the way for all female idol groups, it's unfair to say that any similarities could be attributed to plagiarism. White Shirt and Jeans According to the post, TWICE's White Shirt and Jeans concept from their music video for Heart Shaker was a direct copy of Girls' Generation's G. While the two might appear a bit similar at first glance, a closer look can reveal very obvious differences. While Girls' Generation very clearly had identical matching white t-shirts and blue jeans, the TWICE members all wore different types of white shirts and denim bottoms of all different shades. And while Girls' Generation's outfits were used for the album cover for their first mini-album, G, and not the music video, TWICE only used the white outfits to play clone characters in their music video, and not for the album cover. Ad choice is advertising in red invented by Teeds. In fact, the white shirt and blue jeans outfit is a classic look, and has been used time and time again in. Several examples include Dal Shabet for Get Used Jeans Highlight for Naver X Dispatch Hank Hill and King of the Hill 2. Holly Pops Next, the post singled out TWICE's Japanese single, Candy Pop Jacket cover for copying Girls' Generations, Kissing You, noting the similarity in the members holding lollipops. However, in addition to lollipops being among one of the most popular and well-known candy snacks around the world, TWICE and Girls' Generation are clearly not the only groups to have used lollipops in their promotions. TWICE's similar photo was also only one of several album covers, which also included the group members posing in colorful furry outfits and one of them shopping for snacks. And with TWICE having nine group members, the same number as Girls' Generation's original lineup, it's easy to see why they'd also use a 3x3 square layout. It's also important to note that TWICE has also used a lollipop on several other occasions, and not just only for their candy pop promotions. Even their official light stick, the beloved candy bong, is the shape of a lollipop, 3. Night Sky on the Beach Perhaps the silliest accusation of all is the suggestion that TWICE's upcoming album, Summer Nights, is a copy of Girls' Generation's Party. Not only was Girls' Generation's Party actually set in the daytime, the photo used for Girls' Generation was actually a fan edit. New teasers for the release featuring the members in interesting outfits also suggest that TWICE will not be partying in the sun like Girls' Generation did. Cheerleaders claiming that TWICE copied Girls' Generation's oh, concept by wearing cheerleader outfits in Cheer Up is just plain silly. While O oh, was entirely cheerleader-themed, the only hint of that concept in Cheer Up was the purple jackets, which was a single outfit out of nine the girls had in the music video. In addition to the difference in variety of outfit concepts between O oh, and Cheer Up, the cheerleader concept has also been used by countless other K-pop groups. Cosmic Girls 4, Happy, C.O.L.C. 4, Kazmisma, Kara 4, We're With You, 5. Dresses of all things, the post even accused twice of copying girls' generation's use of dresses, one of the most common articles of clothing in existence. Girls' generation didn't even use the pictured dresses in the music video for Lionheart, whereas twice only used their dresses in the music video, and not in the album itself. The dresses don't even look remotely similar to each other, neither in level of formality nor in appearance. The difference between the two concepts is so drastic that there isn't even any need for examples. Retro Lastly, the post tried to accuse TWICE of copying Girls' Generation's retro concept from Dancing Queen with their music video for I Want You Back, but while Dancing Queen used retro as a concept for the memory-inducing music video, TWICE's use of the retro concept is actually in homage to the song they sang for the video. I Want You Back is an English song by musical legends The Jackson 5 and was released back in 1969. Twice covered the song for the OST for upcoming Japanese movie Sensei Kunshu. Of course, ONCEs quickly came to TWICE's defense, pointing out the clear flaws in the post's argument. What a load of BLLSHT. Then since I wore skinny jeans before Girls' Generation did they copy me? 
Fashion continuously comes back and concepts are all similar, so stop the nonsense. I have no interest in girls' generation or whatever tilde. Stirring the pot. Our concept this time around is horror. Consistently. Then you should show all the concepts why are you only showing parts of it? You're just jealous because of the teaser. Twice will do TWICE's concept. Please mind your own business. I think you can wait until the comeback comes out before going at it with your BS. Twice definitely doesn't need to copy concepts to succeed. Just look at all the unique concepts they've done so far. Zombie apocalypse survivors aliens in disguise literal anime characters Tiffany refused to sign with an Asian agency because of Girls' Generation.